Hi everyone, my name is Ellie Eberts, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made my feathered wings and tail for my new Minto cosplay. Let's go ahead and get started. Now before making my wings, I did have my dress finished. The first thing I'm going to be doing is creating a wire armature. I'm using, I believe this is 12 gauge wire that I bought at the hardware store. So it's actually some pretty heavy duty stuff. You wanna use something that is a bit thicker and is actually going to stay in place and hold up your wings. Since this wire armature is the entire base of your wings, you're gonna have to have something that's kinda sturdy. Now I'm simply bending this into place with my hands and making sure that it looks right when it's on my dress form in my dress. Now that I'm happy with the way my armature looks, I'm going to be using some craft foam to create a shape. I'm simply going to trace out the shape that I want my wing to be as I'm holding it up to my armature. Now this is a very rough shape, it doesn't have to be anything pretty, we're going to clean it up a bit later on. So go ahead and cut that shape out of your craft foam. We're going to want four copies of our wing. Now I know everyone has their own preferences for craft foam, but I'm actually just using the stuff that you can buy in the bulk pack from Joann's. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing thick, it's just enough to give us a little bit of body and somewhere to glue our feathers. Also, I would suggest using blue craft foam rather than pink. You can sometimes see the pink through my feathers. I should have used blue or at least given them a little blue base coat. So just a heads up. Now we are going to be hot gluing our wire in between our two foam layers. So go ahead and use as much glue as you feel is necessary to connect your wire onto both of your layers. I'm going to start by laying down my wire on my first piece of craft foam. While I wouldn't say it's completely necessary for you to sandwich your wire between two layers of craft foam, I find that it helps keep the shape clean and makes it so I'm not afraid that my wire is going to pop off and pull feathers with it. This way I know it is secure in between two layers of foam and I have a really great base to glue all of my feathers onto. So I'm making sure that my wire is very secure between these two layers and I'm lightly gluing all of the craft foam together. Of course, don't forget to glue your other wing onto your wire as well. Once both of your wings are in place, let's go ahead and see how they look on our dress form. At this point, we can make adjustments as we see necessary, not only to the bend of our wire, but also to how big our foam shape is. I ended up shaving off maybe a half inch around my entire shape, just because I felt the whole thing was a little bit too large. Now that we have the base for our wings in place, I'm going to go ahead and create a wire armature for my tail as well. Now I'm simply using the same wire that I used for my wings and I'm twisting it into a tail shape. I'm going to pin this onto my dress form to see if I like the shape. And once I do, it is time to go ahead and glue this onto our craft foam, just like we did for the wings. I'm going to be sandwiching this piece of wire in between two layers of craft foam. Again, this is for security. I think it's more important to do this for the tail than it is for the wings, but I think both is also very nice. You might notice that the pieces I'm sandwiching my wire between are kind of scraps. I didn't quite have enough craft foam to cut entire pieces for the tail, so I'm using scraps. And since this is going to be completely covered by feathers, it doesn't matter if you're using a perfect piece of foam, you can save that for your armor or whatever else you're making. This way, it's just there as a base. Next, I'm going to draw a tail shape onto my craft foam and cut this out using my craft scissors. This doesn't have to be a perfect shape as our feathers are going to add a bit of bounce and extra length to our tail, but this is just something to give you an idea of what it will look like. Once it's been cut out, go ahead and bend it into shape, and then again, we're going to test this shape on our dress form. I've pinned my tail into place on my dress, and we're taking a look at how it sits. I think it looks pretty cute. It's got a little body and flounce to it. I like it. So we're ready to move on. Now we're going to be gluing on our feathers. 
I bought two different types of feathers from Amazon, some that are longer and some that are shorter like regular feathers. I thought the longer feathers would be really nice for the tips of my wings and also for my tail. I'm going to start by testing out the placement of my feathers. I'm thinking I'm going to use these longer feathers for the ends of my wing and then I'm going to use the shorter feathers for the body of the wings. But we're going to test it out anyway just to see what we like most. Once you've decided on feather placement, it's time to start gluing them into place. I also ended up trimming some of my longer feathers in half, so that way they would fit better onto my wings and I would have a few more feathers to use. So I'm going to start by gluing my feathers on with hot glue. When I first started these wings, I thought that it was the best to put the glue onto the craft foam and then place the feather on top. But the more I worked on the wings and the more I worked with the feathers, I realized it's actually way better if you put the glue kind of on the bone of the feather, I guess you could say. I'm not sure what it's technically called. That little stiff bit in the middle of your feather. If you put your hot glue onto that and then place the feather onto your craft foam, it's a lot simpler and you don't end up with a lot of feathery bits on the tip of your glue gun. So anyway, I am placing these feathers along the tip of my wing. I'm going to do this for both the front and the back of both of my wings. So here's what my first wing looks like. This was my first attempt. It looks all right, maybe not perfect, but it looks okay. Next, I'm going to repeat this process with the back of the wing. At this point, I also realized that placing the feathers from the center of your wing and then moving outwards is going to look way more natural than starting at the top or the bottom of your wing. This is the way that a wing is actually grown and feathers actually look. So learn from my mistakes and place your feathers from the center out to the edges of your wings. Once we finished gluing on all of our longer feathers, it's time to start gluing on our shorter feathers. Again, I am simply gluing these on with some hot glue. Here you can see that I've learned to put the glue on the little feather bone rather than the craft foam. And again, I'm placing these feathers from the center outwards to get a more natural look. Now, there's no real science behind this. It's kind of just placing feathers until you're happy with the way it looks, which means it was really relaxing and a really great project to have on a work night. So I could just sit down and make these wings and not really worry too much about the technicality of it all. I did end up adding in a few longer feathers throughout my shorter feathers, just so that way there's a bit of a gradient and I'm hoping it makes it look a little bit more natural as well. I'm going to continue gluing feathers until all of my craft foam is covered on both the front and the back of both of my wings. So that's a lot of feathers and it did take me a good chunk of time, but it was really fun and super relaxing. So after gluing all of my feathers, this is what my wings ended up looking like. I also created a little harness, you could call it, for the bottom of the wings. This is simply two squares of fabric that I sewed together with some ribbon coming out the edges, and then I placed it over my wire base and hot glued it into place. This really just makes the wings look a little prettier, more complete, and a bit comfier as well. So these wings will simply slip under the back of my dress and then tie around my waist or the underbust, depending on how low you wanna wear your wings. Next, we're going to be covering the entire tail with our long feathers. I thought that these feathers would be really cute and add a bit of dimension to our tail. Plus, since they're extra long, we can leave the tips loose off of our foam to create a really cool and supernatural effect. It really looks like a bird's tail once it's all finished. I ended up covering my entire tail in the longer feathers, both the front and the back. 
Once I reached the bottom of the tail where it starts to curve, I did use some of the shorter feathers since these were more flexible than these longer feathers were. The longer feathers, that stiff bone part of the feather, is really hard to go around curves, so the little feathers really covered this part up. Now just like we did with the wings, I'm also going to make a little fabric cover for the bottom of my tail. This is again just two squares of fabric that were sewn together and inside outed and then placed around the bottom of my tail. I also hand sewed on two snaps. These snaps are going to attach to snaps that are inside of my dress. Yes, you heard that right, inside of my dress. I ended up making a giant buttonhole at the back of my dress that my tail simply slips into and then snaps into snaps that were sewn onto the lining. The reason I attached my tail this way is so that there's a very natural end point to the tail. Tails that you just snap onto the outside don't necessarily look as natural. And with that, both my tail and my wings are finished. I think they turned out super duper cute and they look perfect with the costume. I especially love that we used the tail as a snap inside of the dress. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe so I know to make more content like this. I will see you guys in the next video and as always, be sure to keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye!